I was at a point where I was wearing socks with holes with my slides. That's bad. That is bad. And I want to tell anybody that's in college right now, if you are wearing socks with holes and slides and slides, like you can see your toes, but you're not supposed to. You got open toe. You covered up your toes in an open toed shoe, but the cover got holes. So your toes are still exposed. And I got ugly feet, my nigga. <laughs> ugly feet. Or I don't have. Well, OK, I'll take that back. My feet aren't ugly. I got one ugly ass toe on my left foot, like that fourth toe, like the one that's like right next to your pinky toe. Wait, time out. Yeah, that fourth toe, like right next to that pinky toe, that shit is hideous on my left foot. Hideous. The rest of my feet pretty, bro. The rest of my feet pretty. I don't need no pedicure, nothing, nigga. That one toe, though, it's a rotten apple, bro. I'm scared for the rest of my toes, bro. Like, sometimes I'm like, I should get diabetes just so I can have a perfect foot and then no foot. I just take chop this bitch off. I don't need it. It's not aesthetically pleasing. At least not on the same level as the rest of my body, which is also not as pleasing without clothes is that enough body shaming have i body shamed myself enough do you want to hear more of my body shaming social distancing has ruined the body shame game like the things that used to keep me motivated to like be in the gym are just no longer there and it was mainly other people like you know i don't know about you guys i got friends that care about me bro you know my friends are always trying to get me to do better uh in the most aggressive ways i don't know bro. like i'm, I'm used to being bullied you know, into like, you know, working out, trying to stay in shape. You know what I mean? Even though I've never really like gotten skinny, but I've been able to hold my own on a number of physical altercations. And that's just what really matters. And, you know, it wouldn't be that way if people were not, if my friends didn't bully me and shame my body publicly. So in order to like keep that same motivation, you know, just to like kind of keep myself, you know, in at least halfway mobile shape. Uh, I've been like squeezing my fat rolls like a stress ball. Just squeezing it till it hurts and it turns red. And then I point at myself in the mirror and call me fat because that's what keeps me motivated. That's what keeps people healthy. Shame. We need to stop getting rid of shame. Like there, there should be shame in this world. The fact that there's no shame is the problem. Ain't nothing wrong with being fat. You can be a good person and be fat the same way you can be a good person and be a hoe, but be ashamed a little bit. Shame shows you care. When we get rid of shame, we get rid of caring. And then where are we at now? Just a bunch of people that just don't give a shit about ourselves or other people. It's not the world I want to live in.